So apparently, good old Ray is preggers with Kylo's baby. What? Do they not have women's rights in the galaxy far, far away? <laughs> how do they let this happen? More importantly, how did Ben do it? Homie must be pissed as the Force Ghost knowing he got her knocked up and didn't even do the deed. There's so much I didn't do. But that's okay, Ben, because in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how Ben Solo got good old Ray over here knocked up without having a little fun in the process. And how this is gonna be the major plot in the next Ray movie coming out in 2025. You know, the movie that was announced at Star Wars Celebration. The movie that nobody asked for. Yeah, that movie. Apparently this image was shown at Star Wars Celebration. Maybe, possibly, it might be fake. But in The Rise of Skywalker, there were indicators that this was gonna happen. And in this video, I'm gonna go over that and so much more. Now I have to warn you, if you're a real Star Wars fan that despises anything that has to do with the sequels, this is gonna be a total cringe fest so enjoy so apparently the clues were all there now this article comes to us from fiction horizon very reputable publication i believe now the article reads star wars theory explains was ray pregnant in the rise of skywalker well it turns out there's a huge possibility that she was and this article explains how it was teased in that abomination of a film the rise of skywalker so apparently in episode 9 the rise of skywalker good old ray was given a fertility necklace when she was on that planet you know the one where they found that dagger that made absolutely no sense the article reads during the events of the rise of skywalker ray and her friends went to the aki aki festival of life where Rey was warmly greeted by a Nambigima who gave her a yellow fertility necklace. Of course, when discussing fertility, we can't help but relate to the possibility of a woman getting pregnant. While many things were left unanswered in The Rise of Skywalker, the fertility necklace indicates that Rey will become pregnant at one point. After all, why would the director include this scene if it didn't have a hidden meaning behind it? As such, it is possible that this scene of Rey receiving a fertility necklace was a clue to her future as a mother. But the biggest clue that Ben got good old Rey knocked up was this moment right here. Of course, this is the scene where Rey was hurt and good old Ben here used the force ability of force heal to heal Rey. You know, because they have that force dyad thing going on. And when he did so, he placed his hand over her womb. And it is said that this is the moment that Ben got her knocked up. As you can see here, she clearly felt a little extra. Now, the new Rey movie is said to take place 15 years after the events of Rise of Skywalker. So that means that the little brat is probably going to be 15 years old. Probably best friends with Grogu. Yuck. And surely he's going to be part of Rey's Jedi Academy. Now, me personally, I think that they're going to throw everyone a curveball and name the little brat Luke. And that's going to be Disney's unoriginal way of recasting Luke Skywalker and making new Luke Skywalker movies with fake Luke Skywalker. Or, hear me out, if Disney has a brain and actually goes back to the source material, Ray will name the kid Ben, and he will be Ben Skywalker. And guess what? There was already a Ben Skywalker in Legends who was originally Luke Skywalker's kid. And if they do this, I can kind of get behind that. Ben Skywalker movies, but knowing Disney, They'll probably make him into a pussy. So I think I'll pass. Or this image was just from unused footage from the Rise of Skywalker when they were planning to make Rey pregnant, but then they chose not to. But anyway, you guys let me know what you think down in the comments. And like always, don't forget to subscribe. Do it. Sensational. Come on.